Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today is a quick Farming Simulator 19 update. Now yesterday the first developer blog from Giant Software came out and it is about improved farm creation. So it says, welcome to the first dev blog for Farming Simulator 19. In the run up to release we'll be sharing in depth details about the new and improved features coming to Farm Simulator 19. Today we'll introduce you to the new farm creation systems that give you more options for how and where to build your farm. So this we're going to get more over time. Uh, this one is purely about the farm creation which I am excited to hear because this for me is possibly my favourite new feature that's going to be in Farm Sim 19. Now for some people it might have been the John Deere but for me that's not really a big deal because you'll always be able to find more mods for them anyway. But this farm creation feature is really unique. Um, never been done in um, Giant Software have never done anything like this before so it's really unique and I'm really looking forward to this. So the central pillar of these new systems is a change to how owning land works. Rather than purchasing single fields, you now buy tracts of land that include fields, forests and space for buildings. This is now yours to do with as you wish, creating new fields, placing silos for storage, placing pastures and cutting down the trees for lumber. Now, um, might say it further down but if not I'll say it anyway you can actually sell this land once you've bought it so if, if you don't want it anymore you can sell it on which is really good I think um, really nice feature and this is in game footage now I believe this is of the American map it looks to me to be um, American the way this building has been designed here um, I mean, I live in the UK. I don't know about the rest of Europe. I mean, I've, I've been to France and Belgium, but and I've never really seen any buildings like this. I've only ever really seen them in um, in America. And also, we have cotton down here. Now, I don't know if that if it, uh, um, if cotton's grown in the rest of Europe, but I know definitely in the UK, France, Belgium, Spain, it isn't so. I know that um, the USA is a big cotton area so I reckon this is the USA map and I have to say the graphics look amazing and this is really detailed just from this image here and it is um, showing the buildings you could place so this is your farmhouse these would be like your sheds and and it's just showing off a bit of the game the textures the the way it's going to work so it all ties into three new play modes. New Farmer is a balanced starting experience that gives you some equipment and a small pre-placed farm ready to be upgraded. This mode is similar in playstyle to previous farm and simulator games and recommended for new players. Farm Manager gives you a large amount of money but no farm or equipment to speak of. This leaves you totally open to build the farm of your dreams, picking a prime starting location and creating everything from the produce to the aesthetics. Start from scratch is the most hardcore option, enabling realistic settings and starting you with no land, no farm and limited money. You will need to plan carefully and we're excited to see which areas of the map become optimal starting locations under these conditions. Now I can tell you now when I um, do a first look at Farming Simulator 19 when it's released, I'm going to do the start from scratch because that is amazing. Now also something else, it might say it later on I don't know but I'll say it now. The missions have been improved. Um, so there is now no time limit on them 
and you can choose to do it with either the farmer's equipment or your own so it is a lot more like a contracting job so starting from scratch is going to be really good because you can build up your money through these contracting jobs you could then purchase your land get sheds your own equipment and you the game it's opened up more paths for you to choose from so once you do the contract and you get money to buy your own land and equipment you could either buy your own fields and start farming yourself or you could build this contracting empire and I think that is a really nice feature and I am really looking forward to that enhancing this experience is an expansion of the placeable system which allows you to choose not only where your farm is but how it looks decoration placeables will add to the look and feel of your farm while pastures of animals and silo storage points let you custom design its efficiency this is also how you choose your house spawn point and hire your new canine friend as seen in the E3 CGI trailer so I do believe that the dog is purely there as just a companion they don't really do anything it would be nice if they did um, but at the moment nothing has been confirmed but at the moment I believe they're not they don't do anything they're just there for companionship so it even allows for multiple farms in one multiplayer server with individual players owning different areas of the map and specializing in different areas max out on pastures to create the perfect cattle farm use arable land to produce food choose how to use the land at your disposal. The details of multiplayer will be discussed further in a future update. Naturally, modding is fully supported in these improved systems. Industrious community members are invited to create their own farmhouses, husbandries, farm silos, and anything else for the placeable system. Meanwhile, mod maps can define their own purchasable areas, which NPCs are associated with them, how much they cost, and even if they are included in the new farm starting mode. So as you can see, this is another picture, and you can see Silo um, getting ready to be placed there and you get to see a bit more of this um, map and a bit more of the details and it is looking very nice the graphics are amazing um, now something else um, might say it later on um, no don't but with the placeables in FS9 uh, 17 and all the previous ones if you place it on um, a slight hill it'll just have a concrete box underneath it in 19 however the ground is leveled out um, to fit around it instead of just having a massive concrete box in the ground or oh, sticking out so that's um, really nice so final part how will you play farming simulator 19 start from nothing and work your way up to maximum efficiency or build the beautiful farm of your dreams in the most scenic locations thanks to our overhauled graphics engine. We're looking forward to seeing what you do when Farming Simulator 19 releases later this year. Now I am really excited for Farming Simulator um, 19 and um, I can reveal that the release date is the 20th um, of November now I'm gonna put the link to the game in the description um, British currency it is 30 pounds um, euros 3499 or I say 35 euros um, it's the same in dollars as well I'm um, not sure about other currencies but they're the ones that I do know and um, you might be wondering why is it cheaper in UK currency that's because our currency is it, it's worth a lot more than euros and that that sounds really bad but that's unfortunately that's the way it is so that's why ours is only 30 um, 
so that's going to be it for this quick update video hopefully more information will be posted soon um, when the gameplay trailer is released I will be um, be putting that on my channel I obviously won't have sound on it but I'll I'll show that to you and then I'll just talk to you through a bit about what we're seeing but that's going to be it for this video don't forget to join my discord server link to that also in the description like subscribe comment and I'll see you next time